welcome to the breeze lifestyle i'm the breeze and thank you for tuning in to this episode of breezy story times <laughs> so yeah um first of all let's just discuss this i'm bulk recording right now and i was going to take this wig off y'all this is my first time ever wearing a wig and you can see the lace but i was kind of like you know how sometimes things kind of grow on you but if you think i look like rick james like i kind of think i look like rick james then let me know in the comments and let's laugh about it like i am not embarrassed y'all my y'all my family i already told y'all if y'all been here before it only take one video if you come back for another one we we family okay <laughs> so do me a favor support me please like comment subscribe description box check out my socials and go follow me over there so let's get this thing started okay let me not get too close so y'all don't see too much of my legs oh, i don't want y'all to see too much all right so this is gonna be a funny little story time about how my cousin ruined my birthday okay just totally ruined my birthday you know your birthday is supposed to be all about chill you know you invite other people out and you want to do stuff with other people but it's about you i'm inviting you to celebrate me i want to be the littest one i want to be the cutest one i want to, i want my friends to be cute but i go a little hard on my birthday to try to be the cutest one of course like don't everybody do that but anyway so i want to be the one that's lit you supposed to be dragging me out the club because i'm sloppy drunk you're supposed to be taking me where i want to go but that's not how it went so let's get into the story so let's give people names first um we're gonna do my cousin let's call her uh, see okay like i said i don't know if you watch this but let me name my top five uh <laughs> real quick y'all let me name my top five youtubers because they kind of all do the same thing as far as story times, Simone, T, K, I am Asia. Oh, top four. Okay, story times. And they don't, they be like making up the names and stuff as they go. So I'm just trying that again. It's a few names because this story involves like my coworkers and stuff like that a little bit too. So let's just get it popping. And I hope that I can remember all the names. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm going to turn a little bit this way just so you don't see my lace too much. You know, I still want to be cute. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> y'all, um, <laughs> why am I like this? I don't know. So, okay, so it's my birthday. How old was I turning? Um, yo, it was my 21st birthday. So, you know, now mind you, on my birthdays, I have, I was allegedly drinking apple juice. Look, I'm K shine apple juice. I was allegedly drinking apple juice when I was 14, 15. So by the time 21 came, I had already like been to different places. And the year before that, I went to a place. No, this is my 22nd birthday. Okay, this had to be my 22nd birthday. Cause actually my 21st birthday, I was so faded that by the time I got to the club, they would not let me in. I couldn't, they, I remember them asking me like, just turn around and do different things and they would not let me, I was too lit, okay? So this is my 22nd birthday. I was working at a call center. So I invited my coworkers, my friends, and I invited my cousin. My cousin is like my best friend, but it's just that we're cousins or whatever. So like I always kind of loop her in just to best friends or, you know, whatever. So my cousin, we're going to call her, we're going to call her Margarita. Let's call her Margarita, okay? So Margarita is my older cousin. She older than me than about two years. Me, I'm from Delaware. I lived in the city. She lived in the lower suburbs, okay? So, she was going to drive down. Her drive is about 30 to 45 minutes to me. So, my co-workers from work, um, we're going to name one of them. Dang it, y'all. Okay, give me a second. Um, this is no shade. Now, I don't talk to these co-workers no more for real, but the names is no shade. I'm just trying to hurry up. So we're going to call them, and I would have remembered, so I'll remember that's right. So we're going to call them one Light Bright. Me and Light Bright had the same birthday. And then Glasses, me and Glasses, um, we all was Capricorns. So Glasses' birthday was like a week after ours, but me and Light Bright had the same birthday. And both of them was older than me. So it's like, I'm the baby, and y'all coming out here to celebrate me. I don't know what you were doing for your birthday. We're going, I'm going to buy you a drink because we got the same birthday. But... 
we here for me me y'all i'm the only child so when it comes to birthdays i really be on that like it's about me i give everybody everything they want every time of the year you know whatever but when january 11th come around either don't be there or be there for the breeze period anyway so <laughs> so we get off of work our plan is to go home and change and, no 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 i dressed up because <laughs> I dressed up. I think we all kind of dressed up a little bit for work. And then we went right after work. So work ended at like 5, I want to believe, either 5 or 6. So we was there early. So we go to this place. I'm going to just tell y'all what it is because most of y'all are not from Delaware. And it's not even available. It's not around anywhere. But it was called the R Lounge. So we was going to go to the R Lounge. And then our plan was to go to Onyx after, which is a strip club in Philly. However, the plan, I'm going to give y'all the whole plan at the beginning. Like Asia said, in order to make any of my story times make sense, I got to give you the backstory. So here, this is the backstory, okay? <laughs> so yeah, um, I wanted to go to the strip club for real. I had never been to the strip club, a real strip club. Like I can get into the little rinky dink strip clubs, but Onyx to, to Delaware, Onyx is that strip club or used to be, whatever. So I had never been to Onyx. I tried to get in there twice with my cousin, Margarita, trying to use her ID and it just, it never worked. So I'm like, we going on. And that's why I wanted Margarita to come. Like we've been trying to go to Onyx all these years. Now I finally can go, like, let's go to Onyx. So she's with it. So basically Margarita's plan is to come to Wilmington after she get off of work, she'll meet us there, okay? Now, um, I was in a relationship with my, I don't know if we was in a relationship or we were just cool at that time. I don't remember, but I was cool with my BD. So I'm going to do a whole BD Chronicles, but that's going to be for later on in life. But we just going to call, I already know his name. We're going to call him Finesse. Okay. BD is Finesse because he's the biggest Finesse I ever met in my life at that time. Um, cause yeah, these, these ninjas be finessing for real. So he prepared me for the finesse that I know now. Um, anyway, so the plan was finesse didn't want to really come to the art lounge. So finesse basically, he already know it's all, it's my birthday. It's all about me. So basically he was going to pick us up from the art lounge in my car. Yeah, I was young and dumb. Don't get it wrong. I was young and dumb. I would never do it now. Anyway, so he was going to pick us up in my car and then take us to Onyx. So the people who was coming to Onyx, I don't believe my coworkers was coming to Onyx. It was just going to be me, Margarita, and then my friends. So my friends who showed up was Slim and... Oh, what I'm going to name my other friend. Because it's, it's a little bit of drama with that, too. Um, and I'll give you the little backstory with that. Slim and... Slim and Mover. Okay? I'm calling my friend Mover because, like, in our childhood, she kind of moved a lot. Like, she wasn't always... We we were the type, me and my three rollies, we seen each other every single day after school. We hanging out. We call each other. We're with each other every day. It was points in my childhood where a mover may have moved to a different different part of the city and we didn't see her as much. So I'm just calling her mover. So the last part of the backstory, y'all. <laughs> mover and okay. Mover and Slim. We are friends, right? So it's another friend. I'm not gonna give her no name because she's not in this story. She wasn't there. But my other friend is where Mover came into the group through her, right? So, but we was all friends, childhood friends, 9, 10, 11, 12 year old, years old, when everything was so simple. So now I'm turning 22, Slim is like 24, and then Mover is like 21, 20, one of the two. So basically, long story short, um, way, 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 way back in the day, um mover was talking to this dude and we knew of him we used to hang out with them a little bit but not too much years and years and years and years and years ago by later slim links up with him that ended up being her baby daddy so long story short <laughs> i always say that but the story be so long but um i'm just trying to keep it make it make sense 
So, um, Mover, as she got older, of course, she wasn't, they never, Mover and Slim never beefed over that because, like, it was never no involved. I don't know why, because it's like, sometimes it's like childhood stuff, you doing, I'm not about to be worried about your boyfriend from when you was 11 years old, you don't care about him either, and now he grown and he want me, like, I don't know, as long as we had a conversation, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, so... Mover now has a baby daddy <laughs> and a baby, <laughs> and her baby daddy's cousin is Slim Baby Daddy's other baby mama. <laughs> okay, it, it gets real ghetto, y'all. It gets real ghetto. So I'm just telling y'all this because it plays a little part into that night of my birthday. So basically, um, Slim Baby Dad, baby mama, I'm not gonna give him no, give her no name. But they was beefing. Her and Slim was beefing hard. Like Slim had the first baby and then the baby mama had a baby. So it's like, you know how that is when, you know, the dude ain't telling everybody the whole story. And then the girls end up bickering with each other. So that's where we was in this part of life. However, like I said, the baby mama is Mover's baby daddy's cousin. So they cool. Like, she's locked in with her baby dad. So his family... You know, she's mingling with them. So long story short, it was a little tension between Slim and Mover because Mover was cool with Slim baby daddy, other baby mama who was beefing and wanted to fight Slim. Okay? Whew. Okay. Backstory. <laughs> All right. So boom. So me and light bright and glasses. We was the first ones to get to the R Lounge first because, you know, Slim and Mover, they my friends. They live in the city, but they come in here on their own. I left work with my coworkers and went straight to here. So we was cool, you know, just drinking. We got a little drink and, you know, it's a lounge, so it's cool. It's a downstairs, it's upstairs. So at first we was just downstairs. Basically, the downstairs is just a bar. The upstairs is like the dance floor, a photo area, stuff like that. So... We was just downstairs drinking, and then I believe, I want to say my cousin, Margarita, got there first. Y'all, this was, I'm 30, so this was like eight years ago. I didn't make no notes or anything, so I'm just, I might be a little bit wrong about certain little details, but they don't really matter. So, the main part of the story, I can't forget that. So, anyway, so I think Margarita came first, and let Margarita tell it. Now, I call her Margarita because she likes margaritas, but I actually think she had a Long Island. And if you know about Long Island, you know it's like one of the strongest drinks because it got a bunch of different alcohols in it and stuff like that. So, I think it was like a blue Long Island. Me, I'm a shot girl. Give me a shot or a cranberry vodka. Like, that's how I was. I don't want to do mixed drinks. I don't want to do none of that. If it's mixed, it's literally the shot with a little bit of cranberry juice. But anyway... So she told me that she only had one. Now I know my cousin to be a drinker. My family drinks, okay? We 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 get down with the get down, okay? So I know my cousin can throw them back, right? So anyway, she's drinking her drink. We having fun, you know, whatever, whatever. So then, um, I want to say I don't. They didn't come together. But I feel like Slim and Mover came around the same time. But they didn't, like, ride together or anything like that. So, they was there. We all there. We're just having a good time. We taking pictures, vibing, drinking, you know. I'm introduced. I feel like they kind of knew my coworkers. Not everybody. I don't think Mover knew them. But Slim definitely knew my coworkers. My Margarita didn't know them. So, I'm just introducing everybody together. We're just having a good time. So, you know how I be with your coworkers. Like, your coworkers, they there for the beginning. They're not there. They there for a good time, not a long time. So, um, uh, light bright and glasses, they had left. Like, they didn't stay long. They not from the city. They don't know our, our lounge is a vibe. Like, they, you know, they just, they more so came for some happy hour type of fun and now they going home. So, cool. That's what they did. So, now it's just me. We upstairs now. Now, like I said, we had got there early. So now it's around 9, 10 o'clock. Now it's lit. It's like a club in here. So um, it's just a recap. It's me, Margarita, Slim, and um, Mover. Okay. So 
how I was raised, you come together, you stay together. Yeah, we ain't come together, but y'all my homegirls, and y'all came here for me, and I feel like we should stay together. So, it was just so much going on at one time, y'all. So, like I said, Mover, I mean, not Mover, uh, yeah, Mover and Slim had underlying beef it wasn't like they never really argued before but it was just a thing where i don't know if you're running around telling my business to this girl you know i don't feel comfortable talking to you because i feel like you're gonna run it back that's how it was but it was never confirmed if this girl if mover was running it back or not it was just like the thought of it like you're cool with my op here nor there so i know i say so a lot y'all i'm sorry i'll try to edit it out as much as i can but maybe i won't anyway <laughs> um we were a little lit you know i was a little lit i i be lit but it's either i'm lit in a good having a good time or i'm faded like i don't know what's i'm still a fun person but somebody is in charge of taking care of me like somebody has to get me home because i'm faded so i wasn't faded i was just lit like i was having a good time like i said we taking pictures you know whatever whatever now margarita told me after the whole story everything went down she told me she only had either she said one or two long islands i know my cousin she, i the way she was acting i thought she had seven of them because it's like baby girl like you're doing too much and i know you can hold your liquor i know you can control it because you gets down with the gets down <laughs> so she like i gotta go to the bathroom now she has on a one piece uh with no sleeves uh, it, that makes sense like it stops right here so don't have no sleeves it's just a one piece um pantsuit or whatever and she got her keys her wallet her um id her debit card you know everything and her boobs you know how we do y'all so we walk in and she's <laughs> stumbling now mind you i got on heels like heels heels and so do she. And it's like, she's doing it. I'm like, yo, chill out. Like, come on. We walk into the bathroom. I'm holding her. But it's like, she almost made me fall. And I, that was strike one. Strike one. When I'm trying to be cute and we walk in and you almost made me fall. It's like, what are you doing? What, what is you doing, sis? Like, so I'm like, come on, come on. We get this close to the bathroom. This close to the bathroom. Baby girl falls on the floor, face first, like, boom. Like, she just fell on the ground. And I'm like, <laughs> I feel bad <laughs> saying it like this now. But before I thought, like, is she okay? I thought, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> That's the first thought. I'm like, looking around like, oh, my God, there's people watching. <laughs> is there people watching us? Like, what is going on? Oh, my gosh. So, I'm helping her up and other people around. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, girl, get it together. Like, come on. Like, get it together. Mind you, like I said, we got somewhere to go after this. This is a pregame spot. What are you doing? So, and then this girl, like, oh, she dropped her keys. Somebody else, oh, she dropped her. You dropped your car keys in your. So, I'm just picking up all her stuff. I'm like, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. While all this is going on, mind you, I had left Mover, I left Slim. So, I hear, like, commotion. I'm like, what's going on? But I'm so worried about her, but I hear commotion. And guess who's the commotion? The baby mama is there. <laughs> like, so, mind you, it was so tense that... If Slim and the baby mama was in the same place, you just had to be prepared because you did not know. Like, Slim didn't like the girl, but she didn't care enough to, like, if I see you, it's on sight. Like, you know, it wasn't that deep to her. But the girl, that's how she felt, like, on some, like, if I see you, on, it's on sight. She ain't never really do that, but she was on that rah-rah type of stuff, so you always had to be prepared. So, for me, if I know my friend got an op, I'm always ready. I'm always ready. I'm not about to let my friend get, I don't care. I'm, listen, I'm too old to be fighting right now. But back in the day, even right now, if it comes to me, I'm just going to do what I got to do. But back in the day, it's like, I don't care. I'm not going to just jump somebody.
but I'm not also about to just sit there and watch my friend get beat up. Like, I don't care. Call it what you want. Y'all tell me what you gonna do. Your best friend since nine years old, y'all 20 something getting beat up. You sitting there telling like, fight harder, fight harder, do better. Come on, come on, let him up, y'all. Just let him up. Come on, just let her go. Oh my gosh, just let go. Hell no. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Bing! <laughs> Like, I'm still off on everybody, okay? Anyway, so, I'm like, what's going on? Mind you, it's loud, the music playing, so I don't know who the commotion is, but I'm just telling y'all just to let y'all know. So, I'm like, come on. Um, so, I feel like I left um, Margarita in the bathroom. Like, she's in the stall. It's no door, so... The club's right here. You walk down a little hallway and it's like an opening, which is the bathroom. So I walk out the opening just to look like what's going on. And I see Slim by herself. So I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, girl, baby mom here. I'm like, what? But she arguing with somebody else that is in the mix of this whole baby daddy thing, you know, whatever. I'm like, what? So... I'm like, well, where's Mover? So she's like, um, over there. So how I felt at that time is like, how the heck you come for me? And, you know, like, you know what's going on with them. And you over there checking on her, making sure she okay. You didn't come with her. Because I didn't know that their relationship was that deep. I knew that y'all was, you know, y'all knew each other because of the situation. But I didn't know that they was like that, you know, at that time. So it's like, I kind of now being older, understanding, okay, you you don't know what to do in these situations. Yeah, y'all beefing, but y'all both cool with me. I ain't got nothing to do with it. So it's like, I'm going to make sure both y'all okay. But back in the day, I'm looking like, well, you, well, what if, what if um, baby mama wanted to fight Slim? What was you going to do? Move her? Like, whose side was you going to be on? Because I could see her, um, baby mama being mad or whoever she was arguing with, then seeing Slim and trying to put that energy towards her, and you already over there. Was you staying over there or was you coming back over here? That's how I felt about it. Like, what y'all think? Do y'all think Mover was wrong or do y'all think that, you know, it's not that big of a deal? Like, she was just going to check on her other friend, you know? So, anyway, so I'm just like, all right, well, stay with me. Let's go back in the bathroom and check on Margarita. So, Margarita come out and she's just like, she's faded okay i'm just and i knew it was at that moment i knew she was not going to onyx but it was also at that moment i knew i was like i knew i was going to onyx i'm going to see some booty chick shake <laughs> i was going to onyx so i'm texting her every day i'm texting finesse like um you can get ready to come pick us up but i'm probably gonna because i live down the street margarita lived 40 minutes away and she's faded okay so i'm like we just gonna drop margarita off at my house let her sleep it off and then you know we gonna go to onyx so he like all right i'm on my way so mover and slim was supposed to go to onyx with us as well um but i believe with all the commotion at this part i could be 100 percent wrong because everything that margarita did next i kind of forgot all about mover and what happened but i think if i'm not mistaken move like i said mover and slim didn't come together so mover could have went home by herself i don't know but i do think that mover probably stayed with baby mama and slim came with me towards the end because i don't really remember seeing much of mover after the whole altercation stuff happened um but i don't remember 100 percent. she might have came out with us and went home i don't know i forgot but anyway, so we leaving. All I remember was me and Slim and Margarita. So I'm telling, I already made plans for Margarita. She don't even know it. <laughs> like, so I told her, like, Margarita, you are lit. Okay, you're lit. And girl, we going out and you not coming with me. Like, basically, I just un uninvited her. Like, you you not coming with me because you're, you're embarrassing me. Like, you're embarrassing. I'm trying to be cute. First of all, I feel like I'm at the point with me and my baby dad where, like, yeah, we cool or whatever. And I probably might go over there and get some mm -mm at the end of the night. But I'm still trying to look cute for anybody who's watching because this is not my man for real. He out here doing dumb stuff. And, you know, I'm just going to let him know, like, mm -hmm, you're not the only one trying to be the only one. <laughs> so, yeah, so 
I'm like, all right, come on, we're about to leave or whatever. So I didn't really tell her in the club, like, what was going down. So I'm like, all right, we're about to leave. So we go outside or whatever. She's still stumbling and fumbling and all of that. And I'm like, girl, you are lit. I said, you about to go to my house and then we're going to honor. She's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm like, yes, you're about to go sleep in my bed. And then you're going to go home in the morning. No, I'm not. Da, 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 da. Like, she's really... Be now she's being belligerent. So I'm like, girl, give me your keys. No, I had her keys because the girl had gave me her keys when they fell out. So I had her keys. So that's why I felt confident. Like, girl, I got your keys. Like, you know, whatever. So she started getting smart to me. Now, mind you, me and Margarita, we ain't never got in an argument all of our life. We ain't never argued about nothing. So I'm like, girl, it's my birthday. So I feel a little bit entitled because... I'm arguing with you on my birthday, and I don't have to. It's Queen Breeze. It's my birthday. Like, you know, and she feeling like, but y'all not sleeping in your bed. I'm going home. And I understand now being older, like, you just have that feeling. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't care what you think I'm going through. I know I can make myself home, but that's still dangerous. And that's how I felt. Like, if you can't even walk straight, how are you going to drive 45 minutes home? And I'm not supervising you because I got other things to do. Like, you know, so I'm just trying to make sure that my cousin is safe. That was my goal. Get her home, and then we going out. So she's not having it. She's like, uh-uh. No, I'm not going to your house. Give me my keys. Give me my keys. Give me my keys. So... Listen, what I'm not going to do is fight my cousin. That's what I'm not going to do. So I'm like, girl, no. So um, I open her door or something happened. I can't remember. I open her door and I try to like get in the driver's side or something. And she kind of like opened the door, moved me away, got in the car. She, she, I, I, yo, I don't remember 100% how it happened, but some way she got her keys, slammed that door in my face and peeled off. Peeled off. I'm, ta I'm talking about the drunk girl that couldn't even walk. The one that lost her goddamn keys and ID. She peeled off and she, she could have hit my baby toe or something. She did not care. She peeled off. She said, girl, I am not seeing at your house. I'm going home. So guess what I did? Just because it's my family. Like, y'all, me and my mom is like this. And this is my family. So it's not like I wasn't calling to snitch. I'm calling to let you know. That your goddaughter <laughs> is acting crazy. And this is what's happening. So I told my mom the whole story, whatever. And she like, oh my gosh, like, okay, whatever. So she ain't say whatever. But basically what she did was she called my cousin's mama. And my cousin mama called her. <laughs> so then Margarita got the nerve to call me. After you just peeled off for me. Almost hit my baby toe. Call me trying to spaz out. Why you snitching? Calling my mom. Anybody tell you call my mom? Da, da, da. I'm like, bitch, I ain't call your mama. I told my mom that she was acting crazy and you out here drunk driving. Oh, well, she must have. Yeah, she must have. <clears throat> like, we just got off the phone after that. Like, girl, I'm trying to save your life. And I am still a little late. And I'm about to go to Philly. So I need one person to know that you're on your way home drunk, driving. And she made it. <laughs> Listen, I don't condone it. I don't encourage it. But she made it. She she made it home for sure. She definitely made it home. Um, but yeah, so that's just, she ain't like really ruined my birthday. But it wasn't just a smooth birthday all about me. She was getting drunk. I should have been the one that was drunk and stumbling. I should have been the one that you had to hold me up and I'm wobbling. I should have been the one who couldn't really make it to Onyx. Like, it should have been me. It was supposed to be me. <laughs> but yeah, so I told her I was going to tell this video. She's like, I ruined your birthday. I'm like, the show went on, but you definitely was showing out, okay? Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's the video about how Margarita just, was not giving me the special breezy birthday treatment. And I was not feeling that. And I was, no matter how much I think it's about me, I still try to do my best to like take care of other people. As y'all see, like, I'm not going to stop my whole plans for you, but I'm going to make sure that somebody know the condition that you're in just to check on you. Because I might go to Onyx as we did and get lit. And I'm not, not to be rude, like, but I'm not worried about you no more. So I want to make sure at least somebody checked on you to make sure that you got home. Because I know your drunk tail ain't texting me. And then we talked the next day and we was cool. Listen, we this, this whole little thing did not stop our relationship. But I always joke about it with her because it's like, oh, you was getting feisty 
wasn't you. You was not staying in my house. You was trying to get home. Like, you would have thought that you had some waiting for you at the crib because you was trying to get. I'm going 80 in the city the ticket because I had it in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> but all right, y'all. I'm crazy. You already know. If you know, you're not crazy. But anyway, thank y'all for watching my story time. It's really been fun doing this. Like, this is really been fun. I've been trying to. um record this for a while so yeah here we go i brought it to you and i thank you for being here and supporting me y'all youtube just lowered the bar okay they just lowered the bar they said 500 subscribers and they'll give me a little checky check so if you want to support me help me reach my goals and if this was entertaining to you do me a favor subscribe like and comment and tune in for the next one breezy out